What's up, everybody? Caleb Wagner, aka Wax My Tag, coming back strong inside your eye. Boxing is controlled by the Illuminati Masonic Elite. I am making this video to bust them down, break them off, and expose their agenda that they're trying to blast into our minds. That's right, there's a higher level game being played and it is being played against our minds. I'm making this video because once the fight was over, all the pieces of the puzzle started to come together, and I started to realize that both of these guys have sold their souls they are both satanic individuals they have given up their free will and that is how we got the outcome that we got tonight that's right Triple G was robbed. He was straight up robbed. He opened a whole case of whoop ass on Canelo. But guess what? I should have known. I should have known that there would be foul play afoot. I did not do my research this week. I just tuned in tonight to watch the final pay-per-view fight that we've all been waiting for. I did not even know that Canelo Alvarez's symbol, his his C A, he has a C A symbol. It completely like looks exactly like the compass for the Masonic people. It's it's absolutely unreal. You cannot write this stuff. I did not know. I did not know. Look at this jump. You cannot make this up. This is what's in a Masonic church, and this is what was on Canelo's shirt tonight. It's absolutely unreal. You cannot make this up. Canelo had the Masonic compass on his shirt. He has sold out. It is like a symbol that he has branded on his body. I did not know it until tonight. Once I saw that symbol, I should have threw all my preconceived notions out the window. I thought Triple G was going to come in here and destroy this kid, but guess what? The table was tilted. He never had a chance because he was going into the Golden Boy Entertainment cage that's right all of this masonic illuminati junk has to has to come back to oscar de la hora that's right i'm talking about oscar de la hoya he's the man behind all of this he's the cross-dressing satanist that is promoting all of this we literally had the masonic compass tonight versus 666 triple g this is weird guys Two years ago, I was the biggest fan of both of these individuals. I really was looking at the situation with my eyes wide shut. I didn't look into the symbolism between these two individuals. I never saw the logo of Canelo Alvarez that is completely an identical twin of the Masonic Compass. I never made that connection, but guess what? Tonight, it all makes perfect sense. Look at the, the symbol that was on the Mayweather McGregor uh, sign. That was on the main poster. It was some kind of A with a T. With, I don't know what it was. It looks like the Masonic Compass. There's something going on with these last two big pay-per-views. They are trying to assault our minds with some kind of mental show. It could be going on in the background. It could have been noises they were playing. It could have been the lights that they were using. But guess what? Because of Oscar De La Hoya and the fake judges in Las Vegas, we're going to have to subjugate ourselves to this again. That's right. They called it a no contest. Even though Triple G whooped that ass, he definitely destroyed Canelo. Canelo came in looking more shredded. He had better abs, but guess what? He wasn't the more technical fighter. During the entire show, during the entire bout, it was completely one-sided towards Canelo. You could tell that money was being spent on promoting Canelo. And even after it was all said and done, Canelo's fans booed him. There was 60% Mexican you know, attendance, and they still booed their boy because they knew that he was beaten. They know that boxing's a sham. They know that if something is up. The Illuminati, the Masonic elite, are insulting our intelligence. Something is going on, and we have to question it. And once we start questioning it, they will stop. They will, like, switch up their attack. This is an insult to our intelligence. I'm telling you, there's no way that Canelo got a no contest. There's no way we got a tie out of this. They ruined Gennady Golovkin's record. Literally, they put a tie on his record. He was undefeated, and they made him the B-side. How is that fair? Triple G had never lost a fight, yet he has to come out first. Triple G, like, I don't understand how you got yourself into this you're messing around with oscar de la Hoya, a like satanist cross-dressing you know evil person you're messing around with him what did you expect he must have known what he was getting into i'm telling you i hate the fact that i even question triple g he seems like such a genuine person he is a kazakhstan icon but he still rocks the ggg otherwise known as the 666 literally he has the mark of the beast on him you can say it's a coincidence but 
you can't write this stuff. It's unreal. It was the 666 athlete versus the Masonic Compass athlete. They made it happen right in front of our eyes, and they're going to make it happen again. Guess what? I made the video. I don't know exactly what they're doing to our minds. I don't know how they're trying to mold or shape our opinions. But guess what? I can definitely tell you between the Mayweather McGregor, like that symbol that they were blasting on us, and between Canelo's symbol and the 666 that Triple G was wearing, something is going on. They're playing with our minds. They want us to be Satanists. They want us to be weak. They want us to not question it. That's why I'm questioning it. That's why I made this video. You guys have to tell me in the comments, what do you think? Do you think that Triple G got robbed? Was the fix in? I'm telling you, that woman judge, Adelaide, needs to be thrown out of the commission. I don't understand how she can mess up UFC fights as well as the biggest boxing fight of the year, arguably. It's insane. It's unreal. The truth is stranger than fiction. The Illuminati Masonic elite controls boxing as well as Hollywood, as well as politics. Where's my tag? Breaking it off, busting it down, and that's why you guys need to subscribe to the team. That's right. No other YouTuber is breaking off the information like I am. I'm the only real one out here in this climate. So let's go ahead and talk about it in the comments. Let's not allow ourselves to be controlled and get back at it, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Wags my tag number one on YouTube. Subscribe for more of the best. Let's go, baby. Don't control us, baby.